guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make my spicy roasted potato fries. They're just so incredibly delicious. They're not really fries, I just call them that because, um, well, who doesn't love fries? But these are delicious, they're simple, full of flavor, you're going to adore them. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. We're going to need some potatoes, I'll talk about this in just a minute. Some ground chili powder, paprika granulated onion, granulated garlic, some Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and extra virgin olive oil. Now the first thing you want to do is get your oven preheated to 425. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I have two baking sheets here that I've lined with some aluminum foil. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to put these into the oven as well to preheat for about 10 minutes. But first, let's talk about the potatoes. What I have here is just a mixture of potatoes. These are russet and these are just yellow potatoes. And I've peeled them and I've cut them. Doesn't matter that one's bigger than the other. As long as the thickness is the same, they're going to cook evenly. That's it. Now, if you know me, if you're familiar with my channel, then you'll know that one of my favorite things to do, anytime I roast potatoes, is to pop them into the microwave for about 10 minutes. What happens is they cook mostly. And you could do this in boiling water, but what I like about the microwave is that it dries them out so that the outside of the potatoes, the surface of the potatoes, is not or not wet. Therefore, are going to get really, really crispy in the oven. Do you get what I'm saying? If you were to boil them in boiling water, you'd have to dry them off really, really well before putting them into the oven. I'm just going to pop these bad boys into the microwave for about 10 minutes or until they're mostly cooked through. And I'm also going to stick my baking sheets into the oven to preheat as well. My potatoes were in the microwave for about 10 minutes and now we're going to just let them cool for a few minutes and work on making the spice mixture. Now in this big bowl I'm going to put like all of my spices, pretty much, along with, for that many potatoes you're going to need about 4 to 5 tablespoons of olive oil just because, you know, there's a lot to coat. So, perfect. Season well with salt and pepper, plenty of salt because potatoes drink up salt. They're like avocados. They need salt. So, and you have a lot of potatoes there. Just give this a nice mix. Ooh. Now I'm going to toss in my partially cooked taters. Oh, goodness. Probably should have gone a bigger bowl, but that's okay because I'm going to just patiently toss them all together. Once you have your potatoes coated, I took my baking sheets out of the oven and now really quickly, I'm just going to divide this between the two, making sure not to get them all over the place. The only thing that I want to stress is that you make everything, make sure everything is one layer. You don't want your potatoes to be like stacked up again on top of each other because you'll steam them. You're not going to roast them. And what's the point of a roast potato if it's not crispy? I don't know. There is no, there's no point in my opinion. So just, I'm going to do my hands. This is just much easier. I'm going to put my potatoes into the oven that's been preheating, of course, at 425, and I'm going to let them go for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're beautifully golden brown and crispy. You want those crispy bits on the side. And keep an eye on them, like every 5 to 10 minutes go in there. If you feel like they're getting too brown on one color or, or one side, not the other, just rotate the baking sheet. It's that simple. So in they go. My potatoes baked for about 25 minutes. I have the other tray in the oven still for just a few more minutes, but this one was done and I really wanted to show it to you. And that's about it. They're simple, they're easy. They're a great side dish to anything you want to make, whether it's burgers or plain old grilled chicken breast. You've got a quick and delicious side dish to make in absolutely no time. Go to www.lauranakitchen.com to get the recipe. I'm going to get to eating and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.